。你好。像啊，你说英文比我说国语还好啊。<laughs> It is an honor for me to be here today.、Um, I want to thank our hosts. I want to thank all of you for for coming.、Uh, this is a very important time in television. It's a very important time in technology. It's a very important time in I think culture. How we interact with each other. And today, I want to talk about social media and entertainment television, and what's coming up in the future years. The first thing that I want to really speak about to everyone is that the viewing audience has control of what we are watching. The networks, the television studios, used to own all of the ideas. Audiences today are telling television networks around the world what they want to see. So when Norman talked about Dancing with the Stars, while that had a genesis, a beginning in an idea room in London. It has sustained because viewers in the United States, specifically, have said vocally, "We like that program," and they do that through Facebook, through Twitter, through a whole bunch of social media platforms. Social media needs to be integrated into all television activities within three years. There will not be a program in North America, Canada, the United States, and Mexico that will not have social media parts that are involved in the day-to-day -day showing of that particular program、uh, as part of the method of delivering the program. In the case of China, you have Sina.com's Weibo, you have QQ. And these social media platforms will be a part of every television program. TV branding is starting to use listening platforms to monitor the conversation. I'm not talking politics. I'm talking about person-to-person -person conversation. Ooh, did you see that that actor's dress? Ooh, I think I don't think that person really robbed the bank. And they have these conversations as the television show is on the TV, and they have that conversation on things like microblogging, Twitter, Weibo, Facebook, QQ, and they have it live. And so the television production companies, to include my friends down here, BBC and others, are beginning to listen, to watch what they're saying on Facebook, what they're saying on Weibo. Because if you don't watch, your programs may drop in popularity, and you won't know the reason. Traditional media. Radio, television, the internet—not so traditional. Newspapers and magazines are becoming fragmented. Our colleague earlier said that the industry is becoming diluted. I agree. So we're going to see very hyper-targeted programming. It might have smaller audience, but smaller audience is still good if it's a loyal audience. Because a loyal audience not only watches that program, but it buys the product. So advertisers are very, very interested in these rather 
niche or small targeted programs. I'll give you a case in point, which is not on the slide. In the United States, there is a program called Bass.